This is December 22nd of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Grumpy Cat's worst Christmas ever. Tomorrow we're talking about Christmas Vacation. Grumpy Cat is an internet meme sensation with over 6 million Facebook friends who has a grace to cover of New York Magazine. It's a supposed cat for Friskies. No, she's not. Appeared in American Idol and the MTV Movie, Movie Award Awards. This is the IMDb for the movie. I don't know why it's a Wikipedia article. <laughs> Well, I mean, um, let's face it, you're only watching this movie for Grumpy Cat. Yeah. Because, uh... I, I like how Grumpy Cat's just on the cast. Just cat, Grumpy Cat's one of the cast, and it's just Grumpy Cat, and then played by Grumpy Cat. <laughs> Doesn't even use her real name. How disrespectful are they? Her name is Tartar Sauce. Don't even credit, credit the voice actor. I will oh, they, they do, she's just lower down. I will not have people disrespect the legacy of the late tartar sauce. You know, late to what? You know, living? No, late. <laughs> late meaning she's <laughs> dead. She died like two years ago. Already? Yep. Good lord. She died. It was so sad. Hold up. I'm. I'm oh yeah, up. I remember. I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, I remember that. That was really sad. I wasn't it sad. Was, um, I was last like, year. Oh, okay. No, it was sad because I like Grumpy Cat. It was last year on the 14th of May. Man, that cat is really grumpy. Yeah, very. Yeah. She was so young. <laughs> only at the age of seven she died. Wow. Man. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen how small Grumpy Cat actually is? Yeah, like she's adorable. Yeah, she has like a form. She has a form of dwarfism. That's why she has that face. That's why she's like grumpy, like that. Oh, has that face because she's a uh, um. It's just dwarfism. If you look at her, because I've seen this movie before. If you look at her, how they hold her in the when they're holding her in the movie, she's just tiny. And the beauty of oh. the movie is that it was made by Lifetime, so it's kind of a self parody of those movies. <sighs> I like how Grumpy Cat is just like shit up bullying this cat just because the cat is like has like a problem and they're just like, oh, you're mad all the time. <laughs> just judge her. Yeah. I mean, it's weird. It's like it's a regular Lifetime movie, but then you got the silliness of Grumpy Cat acting like she's some kind of 2000s movie mascot. What? Well Y'all want to know how tightly packed these? Like, you guys know how tightly want to know how tightly packed these are. Um, the episode that's supposed to come out today, which is we're recording this on December twentieth, uh, it's not done. <laughs> I haven't even started editing yet because I, I was tired. I was gonna edit it last night, but then I realized I'm like, holy crap! I'm running on like five hours of sleep. It's like one in the morning. Probably shouldn't have played Among Us. Um, <laughs> we did it again. Um, yeah, we keep on playing Among Us with a bunch of friends instead of recording and hey, editing. Hey, it's alright. I mean, if you've played Among Us, you know how this game became the hot new game of 2020. It's addicting, okay? It's really yeah. addicting. It's smooth, I'm editing it right mild, now. I'm editing. crispity, crunchity, and Oh, wait, I don't even have the buttery. record noted. Have you, you guys, have, you, have you guys seen the Grumpy Cat comic? Mm -mm. No, but I've, I've heard of it. I have a free comic book day issue. Yo, nice! Oh. The only free comic book day thing that I think I have is Bob's Burgers. There's like, there's like and, and at the end of it, it has like, it has like, a, has like a few different like short things, and then it has um, Drum Cat goes to Comic Con. <laughs> the end. <laughs> short things, just like you. You're short. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. When did you guys see this movie? Literally I never. Saw it. I had the DVD. I got the DVD at Walmart because I saw it and I was I like, "Ooh, Grumpy Cat!" It was like five dollars. I saw the trailer. I saw the trailer on, on on another DVD, so I never seen I, it before. I saw this movie the night it premiered. Like, I don't watch Lifetime, but when I saw they were doing a Grumpy Cat movie, I was like, "I have to do this." Well, it's a Lifetime movie. I'm surprised it didn't have a heterosexual couple wearing red and green on the, and on a white background. Yep. Well, I mean, <laughs> the guy so wears amazing. green and the girl wears the guy wears green the, and and the girl wears red. The girl, the girl, she's a businesswoman now and she's lost her faith in Christmas. But then the guy, 
he he shows her how what why mag- Christmas is magical, and then they fall in love for some reason, and everybody has a merry Christmas. Yeah, like every that's like ninety percent of Lifetime movies, Christmas movies. Yep. There's and Hallmark so movies. Um, oh yeah, Hallmark, Hallmark too. Yeah. Hallmark, they make they make card, go back to making cards. Hallmark, it's all you're good at. They make knickknacks. I'm trying I just, to get my. I just, uh, I just bully this company. What I do like, okay, our Hallmark store at our mall, actually, they 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 have CRT a CRT VHS TV set up and they and they play VHSs. Ooh, should should take a picture and show me that. I want to see. They play, they play VHS, but a lot like they have like sometimes they'll, they'll have VHS like out, but some but most of the time they have a DVD play they have like a DVD player hooked up to it playing um Hallmark movies. That's cool. God, this list I have I printed out. Okay, so let me give context. When we started <laughs> this on November first, I started you know. Uh, I printed out a list so I didn't have to like. No, I didn't have to look at a separate like a, I didn't go on my phone or like my laptop or something to look at try to find you know what movie we were talking about because you know I start everything you know like this is you know and that list has been written on like I was crossing things out it's been it as a giant tear in it like a hole in it in the middle has <laughs> like it's been folded up so many times it's like slightly it's like really dirty it got, it got lost it's just I'm going to do a side-by-side in the last episode when we do a big retrospective of this entire series. A side-by-side of when it started. <laughs> and I was now. trying to get my dog to go outside. She wouldn't do it. I told her, if you want to go out, you got to go out the front. So she did, but once I brought the cat back in, because we're not let, supposed to let the cats out, the cat darted out anyway. I had to run and go get him. Ugh. You need your good dad. I'm Gini, sorry. Gini, you just... my dad. Can you adopt me? Can uh, you be my dad? I am not financially stable enough. Never well, got financially covered from this. I wonder if I have a picture of my list when, in, like, the very start. The picture I have has like some writing on it already, but it's still, you can see still see how nice of a list it was. And I, I specifically, I specifically wrote it in Comic Sans just because I thought it would be funny. Just gonna make sure my front door is locked. Probably in the other folder. Alright, you guys wanna go uh, watch this? I don't know. Gonna force me. Well, we gotta. You're gonna tape my eyes open and force me to watch it. That's what you always do. (laughs) Yep. Alright. Let's go see Grumpy Cat. It's Christmas. You were talking to me. What are you, some kind of blonde witch? I heard all of that. Stop it. You stop it. You stop it, witch. When it comes to the holiday spirit. Don't get sappy on me. Wait, I forgot. It's a Lifetime movie. All pets are off. Dude, grab that cat. But we know! Die, bad guys! They don't even make paintball guns for cats. Get out of here, British grubby cat! Aubrey Plaza brings the internet sensation to life. This is the best Christmas ever. Go ahead, ignore the title of my movie. Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. Jingle bells, Christmas smells. Saturday, November 29th at 8. We're Lifetime. What did you guys think of it? Ah, it was alright. Oh, can you hate it? Oh, alright. Kid, kid, you what? literally, kid, can be, you, you lulled on several occasions. Okay. <laughs> like, roll. Hey, I lulled. Sometimes I was, sometimes you just got a ROTFOL. Oh my god. Ruffle. I mean, colon parenthesis. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Go to the merch store. <gasps> Buy a grumpy cat Col- hat. Colon three? XD. <gasps> Rawr. 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 Anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't a terrible movie. It was movie. a it was powerful right. movie. Yeah. Okay. It felt like like the last movie that had that two thousands mascot sort of perspective, you know. Crap! I was trying to trying to edit the trying to edit today's podcast, and I downloaded I downloaded 
the wrong format. Ah, and I gotta redownload it. Okay, it won't take very long, but still. Like, I'm really? trying to say that, uh... You know the sort of 2000s movie where a kid's all alone, they meet some magical or mystical creature, and they have to stop this evil guy from tearing down the family business? I got Grandma got run over by a reindeer? Kinda, kinda. I was leaning more towards, uh... I'm... I'm trying to think of that another example of this sort of movie. Uh, honestly, I think this the movie could have done with a little less fourth wall breaks. It was a little too many. Yeah, but hey, it's good that Lifetime realizes how pretentious they are. Yep. I mean, I'm just <laughs> saying, most Lifetime movies have the same sort of cut co Cut cloth. Let's Look at the posters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Intro, in the intro, yeah, I talked about, about that because you know, heterosexual women. No wait, men and women. Yeah, it's always the woman in red, the man in green. There's a kid who's sad because their friend or parent or loved one is dead. So... I love it. <laughs> It's just like, just like the mom's just like, ah, I wish she'd make some more friends. And the guy's like, yeah, me too. First Christmas without her dad. It's just, <laughs> yep. Way to so truth sad. bomb it, dude. Like, come just on, so man. Bad. What? <laughs> Honestly. Also, can we talk about how Grumpy Cat had a weird fantasy about being put down? Oh, God, that was. <laughs> That was uncomfortable. Did he die? It's like, like most movies would just like hint at it or be this, like, they, all right. No, they show, they show you Grumpy Cat on a table dying about to die. Like they show you how they put an animal <laughs> down. Most, most that is movies terrible. Would be like, most movies would like be, uh, just put me down now. And then it's just, oh, you're dead in this fantasy now. <laughs> Not even like a joke, she like, dies. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see you see like a gravestone or something. This no, you see him. Yeah, in like the back. you get to see her straight up get murdered. They pull Jeez. out the gas thing and like, this one hurt a bit. It's just, <laughs> you don't you don't see her, the, you, don't, you don't see them put the thing on her face, but there's like it's like a shadow, so it's like a silhouette of it, and it's just, just incredibly dark. <laughs> I want a paintball gun for cats. Me too, Gundy. I'm just oh, saying, like, could I modify a Nerf gun to make it where one of my cats could shoot it around and make the other one chase it? Because my Possibly. cats love the Nerf darts. <laughs> I love uh, the, like, the live tweeting thing. Like, 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 I'm live tweeting this movie right now, so go on Twitter and see. I love that that, like, on the DVD, <laughs> too. So, they very much think the broadcast, like, what we watched, guys, like, um, what we watched on a website that I cannot say the name of, uh, <laughs> it is... Exactly how it is on the DVD. Yeah, yeah like, like I logo. watched it when the movie came out. I was like, super watched. excited for it because I'm like, I love Grumpy Cat. It's cool they gave an internet guy a movie. And then I saw Just the Fred movie and her. it was all right. <laughs> and then the Smosh movie. And then movie. I saw the second one and ew. And I saw the third one and I'm like, uh, what? Why? I remember. I remember when the. I remember when the um, when the Smosh movie happened. I remember that. Uh, I, I remember. I was at the time. I was like, I was. I was in the Smosh at the time. And then looking back on, it, I haven't really seen it like when it came out. Watching. Me. And my mom it. was. So, who are these guys? What are they that's doing? Kind of, it, that's why? Awesome. Why is? It, it, it well, not no people. I swear to God, I keep on getting interrupted. Good. So, um, Wait, what? <laughs> I bought it digital. I bought it digitally because uh, there was no DVD. Then I go to Walmart like, like the next day and I saw the DVD. <laughs> it was weirdly a Walmart exclusive for some reason. I remember they put the, either that sticker or the price tag sticker over Anthony's face. So. <laughs> For the longest time, that was his oh. profile picture on Twitter. He got was out. And didn't they like cameo yeah. on uh, the Angry Birds movie? 
Yeah, well, only the first yeah, one. Yeah, like, uh, Anthony played the green bird and Ian played the oh. orange. <laughs> oh, Use yeah, your the, upper the, body! I don't have guy, an upper body! The guy, the guy, the guy in this movie, one of the burglars dudes, the one with the black hair, he sounds like he's dubbed over by Ian for some reason. He does. It's weird, and then, then the blonde guy looks like Rhett. Like, he has, like, Rhett's face from Good Mythical Morning. Both have the facial hair. It's weirdly, like they tried so weird, hard to make it an internet movie. It's like, yeah, they weirdly are owned by Good Morning Now. Smosh is. It's weird how that, weird how that got connected. Well, it's mostly because they got screwed over by a multi-channel network. So Rhett and Link wanted to help them because they <laughs> know what it's like. Join the multi-channel network. This is literally, they're always going to scam you. Literally, every story I they ever join, hear, they get they scammed. Join in like, they joined in like the twenty, in like the, in like what, like two thousand eleven or something, two thousand twelve. They didn't know it. Like, well, yeah. I'm pretty sure they bought Smosh for like millions. I'm looking up. Plus, I mean, the Smosh brand got so big. That's why Anthony left. He was like, you know. I miss when it was just me and Ian doing our silly stuff, but it's just gotten bigger than me. What, I did, mean, did he want to, did he, did it, he want to actually have creative control or something? Yeah, the problem wasn't that Ian and Anthony hated each other because they left on good terms. The issue was Anthony just felt uncomfortable by how big the brand got. Okay. And honestly, Anthony's, okay. Anthony's, Anthony's better off now because he he like makes you realize that pe pe like things about the people that aren't as bad as bad as they as you think as they seem. It's, it's like good and like positive. So. Oh yeah, Anthony is. Okay. I have respect for him. Okay, they bought Smosh for around ten million in cash. That's wow. surprisingly small. That's surprisingly small. Have you ever like mythic like Good Mythical Morning? It just started with two guys sitting at a table, and now it's like a multi-million dollar company. And it's insane. Oh yeah, have you like seen the uh, challenge videos that Josh has have to you, do? Have you ever seen behind the scenes of like Good Mythical Morning? It is insane. Like oh, I always just imagine it's like one or two people, you know, just like at a camera setup. Then one time, like they did like a like a video like where they like they left the like the the set. And you see like this full on camera crew, and then you go, like they like walk over and there's like a whole like room where they're like, like you know how, like TVs there's like okay cut the camera too cut to, looks just just like that, like it's insane their their budget. Oh um, yeah, good good like, mythical morning. It's like wow, it's it's wholesome and good content sometimes, but a lot of time I get really bored with just the food tasting videos. I mean, they're, yeah, their their recent stuff is like, I watch. I used to watch, like, their shows every morning before going to my morning college classes. Because Mythical Morning is, like, that one YouTube that you always, that you will, like, you watch for, like, a week and then forget about for, like, three months and then you'll find it again and then watch it again for another week. I'm just that's saying, me, they need me. to put Cotton no, Candy it's, Randy it's in there. It's just a cycle. Happy Cotton Candy Day, daddies. Um... Yeah, but back on Smosh, I remember when Smosh was like r r really, really good. You guys remember yeah. when Smosh was good? Uh, around like um twenty, around maybe like from I, and I'm start back, to I'm, around like twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. Wow. Like, like golden era. Pop, wow. <laughs> like I'm like, wow, well, completely interrupts Pop, and then I do the exact same thing. Shut up. What did I do? Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. I talk about that, okay? <laughs> like, I was like, oh, okay. Anyway. I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss Game Bang. That was do, you know, do you guys know where the word, do you not guys know where the name Smosh comes from? What? Um, I think it was Ian? But he thought, he thought that was, he thought uh, Mosh Pits were called Smosh Pits. So, yeah. Oh, oh. Literally? So, they got together, Ian and Anthony, not, like, together, together, but, you know, like, like they met each other because Ian needed a ride home from high school. During high school, he needed a ride home. And he was like, can I get a ride home? And so, yeah. I'm gonna I'm be the Ian of this group. 
I love, I, I just absolutely love, um, they're like, a, like they're old, old videos where it's just, it's just them just with a camera and they just like made little skits. I love those so much. I love, I, like, I love, um, um, I love the, the smell, I, like, I forget what they're called. The, I love like, the, the, I love they're, like just eating food. The one, um, the old, like the old like, video games in real life. Classic. Um, Pokemon in real life. I remember that, one of the uh, members of the Smosh. Classic. I remember one member of Smosh Games made an appearance on the Disney show Gamer's Guide to Pretty Much Everything. Hey, gamers. Um, <sighs> Rest in peace, Cameron boys. You guys remember when they did, like, a Smosh? I remember it was, like, Smosh, and it was, like, a uh, Christmas special. That would had puppets. Remember when that came out? And I don't the behind the scenes. saw that one. It's really, it's, it, we should watch. We should watch it after we're recording this. We should watch it. No, I do remember the one where it was all CG animated because they later reused that style for Super Smosh. Do you guys remember um Smosh like the Smosh uh, shop cartoons? Yeah, yeah, like, like uh, remember... Super Smosh, Smosh Babies. Um, oh God, what was the anime girl? I know what you're talking about. I don't remember the name of it Kamishi? though. It, it, it's like it's Mishi High School Battle. I know I don't know if the first part, but it has like it, it, the ending is uh, Mishi High School High School Battle. Uh, um, I remember watching that a lot. Wasn't 16-bit um, high school part of it, or am I thinking no. something else? I pretty much only watched. I pretty much only watched the anime girl one. Um, yeah, Super Smosh was good. Oh. It had it had a neat idea. Yeah. What if you had the yeah. powers of every video game you owned? Lame. Though, that brings up some questions, like. <laughs> Does it just count physical versions, or are things mm -hmm. like ROMs and emulators, do those count? Well, you don't really own the digital version, you more so own the right to play it on your console. That's why I like physical media, because it actually feels like I own it, and it doesn't feel like it can be blocked at any point. Oh you know? yeah. <laughs> Heck, I like... bought a copy of Super Bomberman at a flea market. Like, yeah, um, yeah. like, 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 what like, what like what happens on Nintendo like, Switch when they shut when they completely shut down the internet? Yeah, you and won't be able to change your Minecraft skin game. anymore. Yeah, and you won't, you won't be able to play your old game. Yeah. Well, I mean, if there I is the, a way, I but powers, I don't think I'm at liberty to say it. If I had the powers of all the VHS tapes I own, that would give me the powers of the country bears. I could sing country music. Uh, I have uh, a very diverse video game collection. I'd have, I have stuff like Kratos, Skylanders, I'd have the power Ripple Flubber. Knots. Ooh, Just I could turn into a dance. llama because I, I turn into a llama because I have Emperor's New Groove. Um, um, I have arms. What does Michael Jackson do in Moonwalker? Because I own that one too. Wait, you uh, have the movie or the game? The game. I was talking about my VHS collection because I barely have any games. Because I have an impressive video game collection. I could make a video I on it one an, day. I have an impressive VHS collection. <laughs> I have too many. I have a hey, problem, my man. VHS collection's <laughs> all right, but some people might be interested. Probably. My video game collection's more impressive, though. I got a box I, copy of Lord of the Rings for Game Boy Advance. I, um... So basically how I started this whole thing was just me... I was talking to a friend one night, on just texting him, and... I was just looking at what we had over in the area in my house, where we keep, like, just extra movies and things like that, and I found... Uh, y Charlie Brown Y, that's VHS, and the original release of Star Wars. So those two VHS tapes, I found those, you know, just laying up there. And I... <laughs> And I remember, like, I, just, I sent a picture of him to him. I'm like, hey, I got these um, two rare VHS tapes. Isn't that pretty neat, huh? <laughs> I just remember going, like, saying, like, you know, I should, buy, I should start collecting VHS tapes. Cut to about a year and a half later, and now I have over 200. 
<laughs> so, I remember when you had like, I remember I when you had like 20 and you, remember you were like, you had like 20 and you were like, I have a problem. I had like 10. Like 10, I was like, oh my god, I have such a problem, I'm such an addict. No, I have shelves I, on my wall. I need to look, I need to count how many video games I have, honestly. If you want to see a picture of my VHS shelves, go to my, my, just go to my Twitter, you'll probably find a picture there, at heyitskit underscore. I, I, I have to have it underscored, because that's some dead account from like 2007 or something like that, has at heyitskit, so. Hey, that's how, how they get you. It's always the dead stuff from the internet. What are you saying, Pop? How, how did someone happen to have the name Hey It's Kid on Twitter before you? I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Um, yeah. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> Pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. Oh yeah, by the way, that's something me and Kit do all the time, make each other laugh, we just say pretty spooky like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works I like, like it. Every, it, works like every, it works like every time. For Pop, <gasps> usually. I'll just variably, like, I'll like, just be like talking to him or something, and we'll just have like, a moment of silence, and I just, just go, pretty spooky! Well, by thinking oh yeah, I forgot, since we didn't there. do ratings in a while, well, uh... Just I completely interrupts Pop. <laughs> wow, Gindy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I can't eat. Pretty spooky. <laughs> so what? I think we've, I think so we've ran I think we've ran it I think we've ran out of things to say in this episode, honestly. I am rating this Can't movie we? a five out of ten. It's, it's okay, so Okay, so we have to record another one, so I said I I both began to pop the group. I was like, let's keep this one short. <laughs> and um now pops We're the this, here. like He's like, he's like, okay, how about 20 minutes? And he's like, maybe end in five minutes. As, as will that be in 20 minutes? And then just, he's like, four men. Three. He's just counting down. <gasps> Very threateningly. Oh my god, two. <laughs> two. <gasps> Remember, people. Be kind. Rewind. Upping yet? Not yet. Not yet. Mm. <laughs> Learn well, your place, Gendy. I pushed a hot dog cart off the wall. You did... you... What? I pushed a hot dog cart into the water. I my fought some in. ducks and I, uh. I can hear my cat meowing at my window. He's like, me! And I gave a crown to a <laughs> homeless cat... man. He catches her and meow at your window. He's like, he wants in, but I can't let him in like that because I, I let him in that window one time and I had to knock out my screen to let him in. And now he thinks that's the way in now, so. What for one time? Oh my god, I can hear you, Jimmy! Alright. Well, I gotta go let my cat in, so you guys wanna wrap it up? Okay, Pop yeah. says one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Tomorrow we're talking about Christmas vacation. And then yep. after that, we're gonna have Christmas Eve and then Christmas. Thank God. <laughs> yep. Ooh. This podcast consists is I want a pie chart of just how much of like us complaining about the podcast, talking about the podcast, <laughs> not talking about the movie, and then actually talking about the movie. It's just <laughs> the movie's like one percent of the podcast. Okay, you can rewind. See you tomorrow. <laughs>